Hi, my name is Tom Heffel, and this channel is all about helping students learn chemistry. In this video, we're going to calculate the pH of a buffered solution. And to have a buffered solution, you have to have an acid and its conjugate base both present at the same time. So right here is going to be the weak acid, HNO2, and the NO2 part of sodium nitrite is the, going to be the conjugate base. So the way this problem is set up, okay, this is the prompt that we have. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and try the problem on your own, that would be great. When you come back, we'll be working on the problem. But the way this problem is set up is that we've put in 3.56 grams of sodium nitrite into a solution that has 0.21 molar nitrous acid. So you got to be kind of careful with your formula right here. This is nitrous acid and this is sodium nitrite which contains the polyatomic ion nitrite NO2, which is the conjugate base of HNO2. And the question wants to know, what's the pH going to be? Okay, so the first part I'm going to take care of is the, um, the salt that turns into the uh, conjugate base. So I'm going to figure out the molarity using the grams and the volume here in order to calculate the molarity of this sodium nitrite. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is convert these grams into moles. And I do that by adding one sodium, one nitrogen, and two oxygens. And it comes out to be 69 grams per mole. So the amount of moles that I have is 0 0.0516 moles, okay, divided by the volume of 0 0.250 will give me the molarity. And the molarity comes out to be 0 0.206 um, molar sodium nitrite okay now that sodium nitrite when i stick it in water because it has an alkali metal in it it's going to separate 100 percent because sodium is an alkali metal and we know alkali metals always separate in their compounds uh, when they're in water so we're going to write the equation for that so here's the sodium nitrite and it's going to be a single arrow because it pushes all the way to the right creating sodium ions and nitrite ions and i'm going to do a bca for this before change after so in the beginning it was 0 .0, uh, 0.206 and it's going to completely push to the right so this is going to go down 0 0.206 and there's going to be nothing left of the reactants it's all going to make products and what i'm most interested in is the concentration of nitrite ions, okay? Because this is gonna end up being a weak conjugate base. So I know it's a, a weak base, okay? The sodium ions are actually a negligible acid, so I don't even have to worry about the sodium ions. And so what I do is I have a combination of the conjugate base with the acid, and that's what creates a buffered solution. So I'm gonna write an equation for the acid, which is HNO2 in water, it's going to act like an acid and donate a proton to make hydronium. And what's going to be left over is the nitrite ion. And I'm going to do an ice chart for this. And my sodium nitrite has a molarity of 0 0.20. I don't have to worry about water in the equilibrium expression. But like I said, this stuff I'm kind of interested in. It's 0 0.206, so I'm going to put 0 0.206 right here. And this is the critical part of the problem, okay, is recognizing that this 0 0.206 belongs into this equilibrium problem, okay? Well, from here, it's really easy to solve, right? This is going to shift to the right, so this is going to go down x, and these are going to go up x. I'm going to get 0 0.20 minus x x and 0 0.206 plus x. Now the Ka value is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. And when it's times 10 to the negative 4, I feel very good about approximating. And we do this method to avoid using the quadratic equation. So 0.2 minus a really small number, we are saying is approximately the same number. Because 0 0.20 minus a number like 0.00001 it's still going to be approximately 0 0.20. The same thing over here, 0 0.206 plus a, a, a small x is going to be approximately 0 0.206. And this is all going to be inputted into the equilibrium expression. So Ka 
is equal to the products x times 0 0.206 divided by the reactants, which is 0 0.20, is going to be equal to the Ka value of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cross multiplication to solve for x. So 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 times this number divided by this number is going to give me my x value. And that x value comes out to be 4.36 times 10 to the negative 4. And that's equal to the concentration of hydronium ions. So if I wanted to get the pH, the pH is always equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydronium ions. And if this is the concentration of hydronium ions, I'll plug it in and I'll get a pH that's equal to 3.36. And this is how you calculate the pH of a buffered solution. So for some quick review, okay, I got it. I deal with the salt first. I figure out its molarity. I know it's going to split up to its ions. One is not going to matter, but the other one is going to be in the equilibrium expression. So I plug that in with the molarity of the acid. I set up my ice chart. I set everything equal to the equilibrium expression. Solve for X, which is equal to the hydronium ions, and take the negative log of that in order to get pH. The very next video, we're going to run this exactly in reverse. Instead of getting, giving, you the, um, giving you the amount of grams, okay, and you calculating the pH, I'm going to give you the pH, and you're going to have to calculate the grams, which is a much more difficult problem. So I highly encourage you watching that next video. And if you found this content helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. And when you add that comment, it really does push this information out to other students that are interested in learning chemistry.